Live, Trance, and Prosper. Hi, I'm Professor Brian Davis Phillips, and welcome to my office, my home study. Yay, me. Yay, you. This video is in virtual reality, so if you watch this in a VR viewer, such as the Oculus Quest 1, or the Oculus Quest 2, or uh, something for the PC, or Google Cardboard, ooh, Cardboard, you can actually see this in 3D virtual reality as if you're actually with me. Don't look down, it'll feel creepy because you're on my desk. Why are you sitting on my desk, you silly person? Because I put the camera there, sorry. All right, so today I just want to do a quick fun video on how to use a pendulum auto questioning card. What is a pendulum auto questioning card, you may ask? Well, clever you for asking. Uh, that's just a card with a bunch of things on it. And you use a pendulum to talk to yourself. Talk to yourself? I do that all the time. Yes, but this is silent talking. The card is designed in a way that you can access parts of your unconscious mind using idiomotor effect. Now, idiomotor effect is pretty much the same thing that you use when you use a Ouija board. Yes, I have my own Ouija boards. That's the kind of creepy weirdo I am. I can't uh, explain it other than to say I was a creepy child, and I grew up into an incredibly interesting kind of creepy adult. Now, this is actually a, a form of idiomotor effect. Idiomotor, it's a psychological term meaning idio, idea, motor, movement. The idea moves it. And that is the key to the matter. You're not talking to ghosts. Well, I don't know that you're not talking to ghosts, but I do know that you're probably not talking to ghosts or aliens or fairies from another realm, even though they're very friendly and they are rather pleasant to speak with. You're most likely talking to yourself, your unconscious mind, and using idiomotor effect allows us to access parts of our mind that aren't usually, typically, available to us by using a card and a pendulum. A pendulum can be any heavy object on a string. I have here, well, it's a, it's a pendulum. Um, an incredibly valuable one made of pure, well, plastic. Um, if you've taken a live course with me, some of you have, hey, you know that I often give these to my students along with an idiomotor auto-questioning card. Actually, my business card has one of these on the back of it, so folks find value in the card. They don't just toss it in the trash. All right, so here's how you calibrate this. Hold the pendulum above the card, and then... Hold it any way you like. I like to do it this way so it's obvious that I'm not, you know, shaking it or anything. You can hold it any way you like. You can, you can put it on your nipples if you like or hang it from your testicles or... I, well, don't do that. That's just creepy. Um, but uh, hold it how you like. You, whatever you want to use as a pendulum. An actual pendulum or car keys or a nice necklace, or amulet, or talisman, or a small puppy, or kitten. Don't use a kitten, they'll scratch you. Don't use a puppy, what kind of freak are you? Just, just use a pendulum. Okay, so hold it above the center of the card, and then just calibrate. So first I think of the word yes, and it begins moving in the forward and backward direction, the up and down. That is my yes, okay? So please calm. And I think of the word no, and it switches to the no direction. Maybe or ready position, please. There you go. Now I have a few other directions too. Um, DWA, 
for my card is don't want to answer sometimes your unconscious mind is uh, really kind of doesn't want to talk to you about that subject uh, go back to ready please and there are uh, circles so clockwise circle RQ or there's my clockwise circle rephrase the question you need to be specific uh, your unconscious mind can't have sophisticated conversations without you rephrasing the question. And then, of course, there is uh, the counterclockwise, which is in A, or there is no answer, or go back to ready, please. Or your unconscious mind is it aware of the answer for that, no answer. Going to the ready position now. After you've calibrated the directions, you then ask yourself questions you know the answer to. Uh, you do this as part of your calibration. Okay? And so, uh, questions I know the answer to. Am I over the age of 55? And there it is. According to my idiomotor, I am not a young man. I am over 55. And I happen to know, sadly, that is true. Am I over the age of 60? Am I over the age of uh, And it goes right to no. And I know I can, I can, at the time of this taping, I am not over 60. I, I know the date of my birth, but like some of us, as I get older, I have to do the math when people ask me, how old are you? I don't know. I have to figure it out. I was born this year. Um, I, it's very sad, but I, I say, as I get older, I have to do it that way because I just don't remember how old I am. I've never actually known how old I was. I always, I, for the last 30 years, I've been doing the math. All right, and then you start asking yourself questions maybe you don't know the answer to. Do I have a handsome son? Now that's a complicated question. And uh, if you're looking down in the VR, you can see that uh, it's going no. So uh, my son is not handsome evidently. Go back to ready. Um, do I have a son? No. And I will point out that, uh, go back to ready, please. I will point out that uh, my unconscious mind is not aware if I have a son or not, which means I don't know if I have a son or not. I have high confidence I don't because as an adult, I know who I've had sex with. And I know which of those people I've had sex with have had children. Do I have a beautiful daughter? Oh, yeah. Do I have a beautiful daughter? I do. I do have a beautiful daughter. Well, that makes me happy. Go back to ready. But then again, maybe I have an ugly daughter. Do I have, a, do I have an ugly daughter? Do I have an ugly daughter? I have a beautiful one and an ugly one? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, do I just have one daughter? Just the one? Yes, I, I have one. I have one child. It is a beautiful daughter. Yeah, we're very happy to have her. Uh, okay, uh, other questions? Uh, questions I don't know the answer to. Um, ooh. Do I love my wife? Do I love my wife? And there it is. It goes right to yes. Now, obviously, I'm recording this on media that uh, is going, go back to maybe, is going to go online and people will watch this. So, obviously, I do know the answer to that question. But I always ask it when I demonstrate uh, the pendulum. And that's just a fun thing I do. I know deep within my heart, I love my wife with all my heart and all my soul. Uh, and uh, 
It's just a fun question for me because I know that uh, quite a few folks look closely when I ask the question. If the answer ever changes, uh, trust me, my wife will hear about it. And uh, I, I don't want to be in the room when that happens. But uh, I do. I do love my wife. And that's pretty much it. You calibrate it. Then ask yourself some questions you do know the answer to. And then ask yourself some questions you don't know the answer to. Bear in mind, you're not going to get lottery winning lottery numbers out of this. Uh, is it a four? Is it a seven? But you could find lost keys and things like that. Um, as long as your unconscious mind is aware of the answer. It's not going to give you answers to questions that your unconscious mind doesn't know about. What is the square root of 7,264? I don't know that. So my unconscious mind isn't going to be able to do that. I have high confidence my unconscious mind may be competent in math, but it's not going to do square roots of weird numbers. Um, but uh, that's it. That's how to use a pendulum. If you're interested in learning more about pendulums, um, then go to my website. Uh, you know where? www.bridedavidphillips.net uh, And on the left side, you'll see, uh, just scroll down the left sidebar, there's a little picture of a pendulum answer card. That'll give you a little more information about pendulums and auto-questioning, as well as an example answer card. Um, but you can also learn about it uh, in the... I have an idiomotor action category, auto-questioning, uh, automatic writing, automatic drawings, all sorts of things based on idiomotor effect on my blog that you can check out the old posts on that. You can also go to my online store at brianwhillips.net and uh, I do have uh, a wonderful package of videos, two volume set on idiomotor effect on all sorts of things you can do and it can be really fun uh, but um, you can also get my psychic hypnosis or metaphysical hypnosis uh, uh, courses uh, I, sometimes they're on sale you can get them you can get them cheap uh, but uh, I'm perfectly happy if you pay full price yay uh, and of course there are other courses lots of courses speed hypnosis, erotic trance, all sorts of wonderful things you can get at my website. But for now, this is me, Professor Brian David Phillips, saying, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, so long and live trance and prosper.